Look at this road! Wow! Whoa! We're like on the side of a huge rocky cliff. How can there be a camping area here? I have no idea. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin! Good morning world! Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 48 on our around the world trip. And we are here in the Ifran National Park amidst the beautiful cedar trees, these massive cedar pine trees all around us and we've already seen our beautiful macaque friends <laughs> this morning i see them swinging about in the trees around over there so we'll probably go and say hello to them before we leave we had a really good night it was really quiet and dark just the one time when i went out to make pee suddenly all the dogs started barking and we had probably like uh, 15 dogs barking around uh, for like 10 minutes and i was like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but we have quite the day ahead of us so let me show you where we're going to head today we are here in if in Ifran National Park and we are going to be heading across the Middle Atlas Mountains going over from the north side to the south side and looking for a camp around here. So we have about 120 miles to go where uh, we will be camping tonight so it's already 7.45 better hit the road let's go! Look we have a morning visitor Hello. Oh, hello, beautiful. Do you like your walnuts? Do you? You're a beautiful little macaque, aren't you? Okay, our first task for the day is to get out of this forest and back to the main car park of the national park. So that'll be a first little bit of a first little bit of adventure routing for us this morning. Okay, just have a look behind you, check the camp, it looks good. Nothing left behind, L leave no trace. Let's see if there's any uh, any more macaques that we can feed this morning some breakfast to up here in the car park you can see quite a few of them up here hello hello boys and girls good morning to everyone how did you all sleep <laughs> oh these beautiful like mothers oh look hello they're all sort of fighting over who can get close to us. Come on, come on. They're so lovely. Look, there's the Barbary macaque, native to Morocco, endangered species. Here you go. Oh, he caught it in the air. <laughs> Say goodbye to the monkey family. Goodbye, monkeys. Bye bye. <laughs> You're amazing, guys. I love you. Have a good day in the forest. Bye bye! <laughs> oh, oh man, so much fun really! They're so, just lovely! So much fun! Monkeys! <laughs> Got a pretty strong wind coming from the right side when we're up on these high plains.
Hello. 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 Okay. You're okay. Another police checkpoint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we were just waved through. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> it's all right. It's a nice road here. It is a nice road. Very, very beautiful open plains coming into the middle Atlas Mountains. The Atlas Mountains are split into three separate ranges. You've got the middle Atlas here, then you've got the high Atlas, which is just to the southwest. And then if you go even further to the southwest, you've got the anti-Atlas Mountains. And we're going to be seeing all of them. Whee! All the Atlas. It's really beautiful to see there's loads of shepherds with their flocks of sheep all over these hills. Look, you can see there's a guy here with a massive load of sheep. Two guys. Yeah, and wow. we, we see them scattered all over the hills in this area. Yes, it looks so peaceful and nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I bet that is a lifestyle that's been going on for you know thousands of years people just been wandering these these hills with their sheep grazing going to the market selling the meat getting cheese and milk from them yeah it does sound really peaceful doesn't it <laughs> yeah yeah here's another one <laughs> whoa look at this rocky area here Epic! This is a mad landscape. Yes! And there's like a little stream running down the middle here. Oh, wow. And some crazy rock formations. It's truly the Wild West here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that in Morocco. <laughs> the fields are just starting to turn into rocks. First it was like fields with rocks. Now it's like rocks with a few fields. Hello donkeys! Hello donkeys! Whoa! Little donkey family! Salam! Look, there's a stalk on top of the minaret again. Oh, nice! <laughs> so this town is called Zaida and it's just sitting here in the middle of this massive desert area with these massive mountains behind. Looks like a cool place. They have a lot of little cafes here to sit and to drink of coffee and to eat. And they have this hotel, Hotel Africa. Oh! <laughs> Oh, the military is stopping for some coffee. <laughs> it's a little market. What a place to stop for a break, hey? <laughs> yeah, it was very early for us today. Like our alarm went off at like 6.30 because we really wanted to make sure to get going early. So <laughs> it's not something we are really used to. But we've made really good distance so far. We're more than halfway to where we're trying to camp tonight. And it's still not too crazy hot, so I'm happy about that. Yes, and the views are just epic, epic views. It's amazing. I love it. Look up ahead. It looks like we're coming into our second mountain range of the day. And it just looks absolutely spectacular with the colors with the shades of red and brown and bushes all over oh i love it and it's nice to go up into the mountains again because the temperature is now very high it's like on 20 
29 yeah. degrees. <laughs> yeah, it's coming up to midday now. Yeah. Um, so it's a really good thing we started early because yeah, now, I mean, the temperature's risen like 10 degrees over the last hour. It's, it's crazy how much is coming up now. Whoa, look at this. Wow. Look at the amount of hay bales this person has on his truck. I mean, that is, that's not normal. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is ridiculous. I, I don't think it's a good idea to stay behind this truck for very long. No. Oh my God. No. That truck could tip over like so easily. Like the truck is, by the way, I don't know if you can see, the truck is probably only about half the height of the entire thing. We're gonna go around him in a minute, so I'll show you. Wow. Here you go, look at that. Look, the truck ends and then it's just hay bales. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. That's absolutely mental. Yeah. And he passed every police control that we went through over the last, you know, 50 miles. He's passed through all of them and they've just gone, you yeah, know, license registration, yep, yep. Okay, come through, no worries, carry on, <laughs> carry on. You might kill some people on the road by dropping giant hay bales on them, but no worries, carry on. Getting the hot wind now. Can you feel it? Yes. Back up to nearly 30 degrees, and uh, yeah, the wind is hot. Wow, there's some crazy mountains ahead. Yep, I think we're heading for this little gap in between. I think that's where the road goes. It's crazy that people just living here, hey? Yeah, look, you can see these people just walking off home. Wow. Look at this wall of rock ahead of us. Wow, epic, absolutely epic. Look at that. That is amazing. Nice one, nice one. 
we can even see a little bit of water here. Yeah. In the river. What are those guys selling? Selling a lot of different fruits. Yeah, this is just an epic little pass coming through the rocks. Wow. These villages still look so traditional, like just literally made from the ground below it to make the walls. It's, that's really, really interesting. Yeah, and it's so surprising that we see so many people actually walking around. Yeah, considering that the landscapes are absolutely massive yes. and that the distances are absolutely massive, you really just think, where are you, where are they walking to? Yeah, exactly. And it doesn't yeah. matter, it looks really remote in the middle of nowhere, but somehow there's one person just sitting under the tree or walking around yeah, or, yeah. <laughs> or appearing suddenly. <laughs> under the crazy hot sun as well, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you could walk very far in this environment. And look at that, we get to the end of the village and then suddenly it's just like whew, straight out to nothing. Insane. Epic! Woo! Woo! All the kids are being dropped off for school. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How cute. We're being dropped off in this in this very small little town village area. But this area is like like a mini oasis. I mean look, desert. Green, really green on this side. Yeah, it's super crazy. It's really super crazy to see. It. He was Oh, the little kid was giving us the finger. Oh the, no! The middle Naughty finger. Boy. <laughs> Naughty boy! He's the third little child I've seen where I'm waving and he comes to me and he's like, ah! With the little finger. Oh, bless them. So we have only about 10 minutes more to drive before we get to our uh, camping place. But this looks like such a cool landscape to camp in. So I can't wait to see what the place is like. That's awesome. Oh look, here's another hay truck. Full, full, full with hay. Whoa! More hay than truck. Yeah, the temperature is now on 31 degrees. Yeah, it's to be good to be stopping pretty soon. Yes. Um, it's uh, just past one o'clock. We do not want to be riding in the afternoon down here where we are now. It probably is going to get into the mid 30s today, so. Time to finish our ride. Ho oh, ho, we're only five minutes away and look at this road. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> we're like on the side of a huge rocky cliff. Oh, these epic views. Wow. <laughs> but it looks like the road has been recently done. It's actually done to an amazing standard. So it's wow, yeah. really nice and smooth. Whee! Whoa, look at this! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god! Whee! <laughs> Little tunnel. Cool. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take this nice and easy. Wow. Nice! Wow, look at that ahead! It's like a wall, a cliff wall! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's coming up very soon apparently. <laughs> How can there be a camping area here? <laughs> I have no idea. I want to see. Is it that that one over I there? Think it's, yeah, I think it's that one over there. Yeah. They don't even have barriers to stop these giant rocks falling down. Wow. I mean, that's true. That's a little bit scary. There's like rocks just balanced on the edge. This is the place, Caspar Hotel Jurassic Camping. Yes. Yeah, it looks like our place. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, let's see if it's open. <laughs> yeah. Salam. Salam. C'est ouvré. C'est ouvré. Okay. Oh, okay. cool. Okay. Bien. <laughs> nice. Look at this place. Camping. Reception parking. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, let's uh, check this place out. Good afternoon. This place is so cool. It's like an oasis in the middle of the desert. Look, this is the room that we have. 
we came with the idea that we um, weren't sure if we were going to be camping or if we were going to be taking a room. Um, they said the price for the camping was 90 dirham, which is like nine euro. Um, and the price for the room, he said he would chuck in some tea and coffee and I think even breakfast tomorrow is uh, 15 um, euro. So not too bad because look at this amazing place. And we have an amazing view on the outside and a swimming pool. <laughs> oh, yes. And we're going to jump in that just in a minute. This is the best part about the place is the location. Wait, I've got to put my sunglasses on because it is sunny today. Look at the location of this place. Look where we are, this is unbelievable. You've got these massive, crazy cliffs on literally all sides. It's a really special and unique place here, it's incredible. The place is still made from traditional techniques. Look, I have to show you the wall. Look at the design of this place. It's called a Caspar. Look at the walls. So literally made from mud and straw, but it's just a huge place. Yeah, I think it's even like two or three levels high. That's crazy. Wow. And we've got Bumblebee parked just outside the front. And uh, it's just amazing here. Yeah, I'm really glad that we started so early so we could finish uh, quite early and not too late. Just hiding for the um, mid midday afternoon sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's getting hotter and hotter yes. by the hour. So yes. yeah, I think it's time to jump in the pool. Exactly. So we really hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, then please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family and comments below. We will see you next time.